Good afternoon. A very warm welcome to all of you. Welcome in the name of the entire SFC Energy team to our first Capital Markets Day. So where does SFC Energy stand on the path to net zero? What do we contribute and what can we contribute already today? Um, I think starting off, I think, with, with the macro environment that, that really has changed over the last, I would say, two to two and a half years, where we see a number of countries, where we see a number of also supranational supra uh, organizations like the EO, EU starting to formulate climate targets, proclaiming targets, let's say, some of them more ambitious, some of them on a different timeline, but in a consequence, I think it is consensus in, in a big part of the world that if we want to conserve what we see outside, if we want to hand over our environment, our planet in a most intact way to those uh, coming after us, yeah, we have to change the way how we produce energy, how we consume energy. We have to combine the ever-growing energy demand with new or address with new technology. We have built out the largest installed base here of fuel cells for stationary application, more than 65,000. Maybe some of you have seen the monitor counting all this downstairs in our in our entry area. So it's uh, 65,233, hopefully in the afternoon, uh, 30 uh, or, or, or 65,250. So we are shipping every day. And with this, we have gained a lot of experience, not only sparing tons of CO2 emissions compared to conventional generation through generators, but with more than 10 million kilowatt hours of electricity generated, with a couple of million operating hours, we have a good understanding of what works in which environment. And our customers appreciate that they get an industry matured product that is ready to use. And my colleagues, uh, Florian, Christian, and Björn, will elaborate on this. Welcome, uh, from my side, um, thank you everybody for, for getting here. Um, to our first couple market days. As Peter said, you know, this is really to give you a broader picture on some of the stuff, not repeating what we've been telling you during our quarterly calls, which I'm sure everybody listens to, and, and what has been written in those wonderful financial reports that we have. Um, and now looking a little bit um, into the future, and that will be the next slide. <coughs> also not much of a <coughs> surprise to you. It's our um, guidance for this year um, that we um, 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 specify a little bit in our half-year call um, uh, and uh, to the upper end of the original guidance which we published in February. So overall, you know, we, ex we, we, we are looking at revenues um, getting to 107 to you know, 111 million uh, euros, which would be anything between 25-26% um, uh, uh, of growth up to, up to 30. What is the volatility? You know, there's all, always uh, some parts, some orders that see um, when they're going to come, um, how we're going to ship them. You, you saw our backlog, which is good, but at the end of the day, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's um, going to happen um, towards the um, end of the year. Um, uh, from that side, on the margin side, um, working diligently uh, to deliver. Also there, we, we, we don't see any big changes except, like I said, international expansion. Um, and uh, looking very positive um, towards the rest of the year um, as well into the beautiful future. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, um, let me introduce myself here first to you, as um, I think most of you have not getting in touch with me. So my name is Florian Taschke. I've got more than 20 years of experience uh, in fuel cell technologies, and uh, therefore I'm, yeah, I'm still highly convinced about the technology. I'm super excited about this technology, and I'm sure that this will be part of the climate change. Focus here really not only on the system technology, on the system platforms, we also take care especially on the system solutions. Yeah? Starting from the fuel, yeah, depending on methanol or hydrogen, yeah, over the system, and the system, this is um, special to mention, as the system usually is um, always in a hybrid approach, means that the fuel cell is always connected 
to a battery. Yeah? And then we have um, the best comparison I ever heard from a colleague here yeah, is um, that the fuel cell is a marathon runner, yeah? continuously energy or energizing the output on a lower level. Yeah? And the battery, of course, is then the sprinter as on a short demand, we have high power peaks, and this is supplied by the um, battery. So the fuel cell, more or less, is just continuously recharging the battery and keeping it um, off charge or charged. Yeah. We um, are especially focusing now here on the higher power ranges. Why higher power ranges? As you see, um, in the power range of up to, yeah, three kilowatt, DMFCs are good to go. Yeah? If you want to go higher, then the DMFC is not more any more valid for as you need too much components, you need too much um, of um, platinum loading and so on. So um, there comes the hydrogen platform in place. The hydrogen platform as an air-cooled system is valid for 50 kilowatts. Why 50 kilowatts? I mean, that's what we have installed at a customer base yeah, as a maximum so far. And if you want to go further on, then we don't see it uh, valid here to be um, driven by an um, air-cooled system. We have then to swap technology and going further to a um, liquid-cooled system technology. And of course, this is something we have to focus on, and that's our target, to go up to 500 kilowatts at the end. And what I show you now is really the first insights on our um, demonstrator, on our prototype here. Yeah, that's our 50 kilowatt unit, nominal power. Yeah. And this is based on um, a fuel cell technology integrated with a high voltage battery. We also have in the upper compartment a heat management installed. And at the end, what is our key know-how is here yeah, again the control of the components. Yeah. We know how to treat the single components. We know how to run the components to keep the fuel cell system maximum alive and giving you the maximum power output of it. And of course, at the end, the design approach here is um, that we can install it in a 20-foot container and easily cluster it up to 200 kilowatt. So the, at the end, the target is really that we have, by end of 2024, yeah, the ability in-house that we can supply to our customers a 200 kilowatt system in a clustering approach. And uh, welcome to our showroom in Florent before explained the beautiful technology of methanol and hydrogen fuel cells. Here I would like to show you the key applications, the key markets of the methanol fuel cell. And uh, we segmented the market of the methanol fuel cells in three segments. On my right side is the end consumer market, behind me is the so-called industrial market, and left of me is the public security market. And let me start with the uh, consumer market. So. What is the consumer market? This is actually the first market. And um, as Peter in the beginning introduced me, I'm actually one of the oldest, um, meaning long, uh, longest uh, term employees here at SFC. And the consumer market is actually the one that we choose to be our first target market. Because we felt this is an excellent opportunity to utilize this beautiful technology, bring it to a mass market, and um, actually to, to gain speed in market traction uh, coming to the customers and also ramping up our production. Having this said from the consumer side, now transitioning this to the industrial market. Industrial market is, from today's pr perspective, way bigger than the consumer market today. Um, the technology is the same, but the applications are worldwide uh, very numerous. Um, in particular, everything goes digital worldwide. Um, you, you always need power. You always have a little computer, a sensor, radio communication, for example, all needs electrical power. And that's exactly what we do, and that's why solutions like we have here as a standard, this is a so-called energy solution, little cabinet, um, is a perfect application um, to, to power such um, devices. And now, what are the applications? Um, Traffic industry, for example, is a big market for us. There is a lot of sensors. Unfortunately, there is also a lot of speed cameras. I have a feeling there is more and more coming. Um, and this is, a, this is a actually a pretty good way to operate them uh, and to recharge them. Um, also, um, you see, if you go outside, a lot of camera systems are being installed um, just to look at, to see what's going on for security, also to, to uh, survey the nature, um, the other applications. And actually, I've, I would also highly recommend for 
for all of you here in the room. Take advantage and uh, take one of our brochures. The ones that are here online, you can also um, download it from our website, sfc.com. Um, there, is, there is all the applications that we achieved so far. Um, one of the key markets is also so-called CCTV cameras because they are um, more and more common to protect borders, to protect uh, public places, uh, train stations and so forth. Um, and the power range of our uh, methanol fuels are exactly to, um, to power those applications. Also for applications like in vehicles, utility vehicles, police vehicles, um, you need power when the motor or the engine is not running, you need power. Also these units are used um, therefore. The other market that I also want to like to highlight to you is public security. Public security making safe our public, protect our people. And there in particular, we do have um, portable applications because if there is an, a catastrophic event like a flooding, for example, or an earthquake, you have to go there quickly. You don't know about that a day before. It just happened. So that was the overview of the core markets we have for um, the methanol products, specialized pro uh, products here for public security, a huge variety of industrial applications that I gave you. Um, an indication and then of course the consumer market being very important for us also to interface with all the customers um, that we have so far. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome also from my side. My name is Björn Ledergerber. I'm Senior Vice President for the Hydrogen Business as well for Corporate Development at SFC. Words to hydrogen fuel cells. So hydrogen fuel cells, we mainly addressing the market of diesel generator replacements for permanent power, but also for the backup power market. The key advantages of hydrogen fuel cells, um, it's always good to know. The first, of course, is the zero emission. So we don't generate emissions compared to the generator. So no carbon dioxide, no NOx, no harmful particles uh, of a combustion engine process. We generate less noise. That's especially important in urban areas where people living close by, which makes it more noiseful. And last but not least, with hydrogen and general fuel cells, we're reducing operating costs because fuel cells require less service and maintenance work like a combustion engine. There's no oil change. There are no mechanical parts comparable to a combustion engine process. So after all the presentations here, I think it's up to me to wrap a couple of topics up. I think you have seen that we are all here uh, serving a macro trend, a mega trend. We have worked our way from initial markets, early markets, into the midst of society. With this, I would like to thank you all for your time and your presence here in our first Capital Markets Day. Expect further good news flow from us in the upcoming uh, weeks and months. And I'm really looking forward to our direct dialogue whenever you have time and whenever you have questions. Reach out to us, Susan from the IR side, or Daniel and myself. As the last one, I would like to thank our speakers done a terrific job without a dedicated team you cannot do an entrepreneurial journey like we are doing it and i would like to thank also the ir and the marketing team for all the preparations here thank you very much and have a nice afternoon and for those of you who sit in other parts of the 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 world have a nice evening or a nice morning thank you very much <laughs>